Hey there, welcome back. I'm super excited to share some major updates I've been putting into my racing games and some quality of life features I'm going to show you. I've been working non-stop for the last couple of weeks to bring you the best gameplay experience, so let's jump right into it. The first area of improvement is the pause menu. While we've been working on it off and on for the last couple of days, the previous version lacked the saving functionality, which was quite inconvenient. There were still a lot of features missing even though we completely revamped it in the last episode. For example, the settings were missing completely. I put a lot of thoughts into making the settings menu, so now we ended up with three different menus. One for input switching, one for graphics and one for sound settings. Now the problem was you couldn't save it. You were putting in, for example, changing a brake pedal. and next time you reload the game it just wouldn't load another quality of life feature is the automatic controller switching you can now seamlessly switch between input devices for example between keyboard and controller you just need to pick it up press a button and it's done next up i finally introduced the new shop feature into the game the shop is your gateway to a world of cars you can browse through a wide section of vehicles, each with unique characteristics and stats. Now let's talk about customizations. I wanted to give you complete freedom to make the car truly your own. In this update I've added an abundance of customizations options for your current car, from body kits to spoilers to rims and painting your car. The garage feature isn't done yet, we still need UI and other things, but the possibilities are endless. You can get creative and design a car that really represents your style and personality. A problem that I've been having for a long time is the physics system. While it felt realistic, I really wanted to give the game a feel that nobody would forget. Now the problem was balancing realism, a good feel for your car and the behavior of a drift car. The original system was really good for making realism, but our game is named Trisha Drift, so we want a lot of that drifting feeling and racing. And now for the final touch of realism, I've implemented a rain effect shaders for the car paint made by a friend. When you race in rainy weather conditions, the car's paint will accurately reflect the rain droplets and create a visually stunning effect. It's in those small details that immerse you further into the game that makes the experience even more captivating. Before I wrap up this video, you should join our discord and subscribe to not miss any further additions to the racing game. I will also soon be working on a Steam page, so stay tuned for that and don't forget to later wishlist it. The pause menu with the saving, the new shop, an abundance of customizations and the rain effect shader for the car paint all contribute to a more immersive and enjoyable racing experience. So stay tuned for more updates and until next time.